Hello, I'm Carolyn Clifford and here are your 7 Action News headlines. It could be a slick morning commute with snow falling in Metro Detroit. Let's begin with Chief Meteorologist Dave Rexroth with the latest. Yeah, it should be temperatures in the mid 20s, some more steady snow overnight. So by the time you get in the morning rush hour, you're going to have to give yourself a little extra time, a little extra room as well. Uh, overnight tonight and through tomorrow morning, the commute temperatures in the mid 20s and there'll be slim slippery spots out there. So it'd be smart to just give yourself a little extra time. We're going to start at 430. We'll let you know what the traffic looks like and of course, a peak at the radar as well. The winds from this storm, although not that strong, fairly persistent. So there's a lake flood, uh, lake shore flood advisory in Wayne County and a warning Monroe County. Both of those go until four o'clock on Thursday afternoon. That's an extension from earlier uh, in terms of that. Leftover snow showers Thursday late, Thursday night and Friday. That's not a whole bunch, but a little bits and pieces on the roads there. We could squeak out a dry weekend and then trying to warm up just a little bit next week. All right, thank you, Rexy. A traffic stop exploded into a shootout on Detroit's east side. Police say a man who was a passenger in the car got out and started shooting at officers who then returned fire. The officers are okay. The suspect was hit and taken to the hospital. It's not known why he opened fire. Hundreds turned out for a rally and a big show of support for diversity in Celine. The town has been in the headlines lately over racist social media posts involving students and a parent's insensitive remark at a community meeting on the issue. An ex-con accused of having a big stash of counterfeit money may be headed back to prison. Livonia police say surveillance cameras captured 45-year-old Blaine Smallwood passing fake $100 bills. They also found piles of bogus cash at his home. He was on parole for home invasion at the time of his arrest. A packed house shared a laugh at Comedy for a Cause Wednesday night. Mark Ridley's Comedy Castle in Royal Oak hosted the event to raise money for the Salvation Army's Bed and Bread program. Good to see. Those are your headlines. Remember to go to WXYZ.com and, of course, our 7 app for news anytime. Have a great day.